Hello, I'm Rachel from Dwensa Garden in Ireland and you're very welcome to this video. Now today I'm going to talk a little bit about the dragon tree, but more excitingly I'm going to take you on an adventure to the island of Tenerife where we're going to see an, a thousand year old dragon tree called the Millenario. You may think this plant here, which is the dragon tree, isn't very impressive, but wait till you see his big brother. Come on, let's get on with the video. The Dracaena is such a popular houseplant and that's because it's dead easy to take care of in a home environment. Today we're going to be talking about Dracaena Draco, also known as Drago with a G and we're going to see its big brother. But just a little note about two other very common house plants in this genus, one of which is just above me here. And this is the really popular Dracaena marginata. And it is such, such, such an absolutely easy plant to cultivate. Now, I recently made a video on Den Garden about how to care for this plant. So if you want to head on over there, do go and check it out. We also have another extremely popular Dracaena and this is Dracaena Fragrance which I recently bought and you'll have seen in my very recent video how I featured and showed this plant to some extent because it is so so beautiful and also bulletproof. Now both of these Fragrance and Marginata are the absolute best house plant for beginners because really you know it would be hard to kill them don't take that as a challenge just take my word for it they tolerate very low light conditions over a longer period of time and irregular watering which are I guess the trademarks of beginners to plant growing but these aren't just house plants both Dracaena marginata and Dracaena fragrance can turn into magnificent trees if grown in the right climate. And here's some footage I took of these two in their natural habitat or in a favourable habitat on Tenerife in the Canary Islands and they can be amazing. But if you grow them in your house, they'll grow slowly and they won't be a burden to you taking over too much space. Right, so let's put this one back and have a little look at the dragon tree, the Dracaena Draco. This guy here, I guess it isn't as an impressive house plant as the other ones because it just has these characteristic monocot leaves that come up with a slight red variegation to the leaf. It is slow growing and in fact the thing about this plant is that it takes 10 years to branch. So when we have a look at its big brother you will see how it's a tree that goes up in a stem and then branches and then each of those stems branches and branches again but it takes 10 years between each set of branching. So after 10 years what happens is the tree flowers and fruits and then when that's all finished it sends off up branches from the main stem. Now mine I guess isn't very mature because it doesn't even have a pronounced trunk yet so we will just have to bide our time and wait. But let's go and have a look at what this tree can become if given the correct conditions. The famous Drago Millenaria on Tenerife Island is said to be 1,000 years old and the oldest dragon tree in the world. Its age, however, is disputed. It's one of the symbols of Tenerife and was declared a national monument in 1917. Today the tree is in a park and you need to pay to visit it, although you can see it for free from a nearby square. The tree has over 300 main branches. The trunk contains a six meter high cavity accessible by a door, but visitors aren't allowed over there. 
You may recall when we visited some of the ancient Greek olive trees, how they also had large interior cavities that you could just go inside. There's a fan installed inside the dragon tree to provide ventilation and avoid fungal buildup. In the 1930s, part of the base was closed with stones and cement. Then, in 1985, it was reassessed and the entrance was opened and the fan installed. I guess science had learned more about how to take care of old trees. In 1993, the road that passed within a few metres of the tree was rerouted and the surrounding park built. The dragon tree is a subtropical tree in the genus Dracaena, native to the Canary Islands, Cape Verde, Madeira and western Morocco, although it's grown in many places nowadays. It's suitable for hardiness zones 10 to 12. Its closest living relative is the dragon blood tree from the famous Socotra Island. When the bark or leaves of this tree are cut, they secrete a reddish resin, one of several substances known as dragon's blood. Dragon's blood has a number of traditional medical uses, although dragon's blood obtained from the Dracaena Draco wasn't known in the rest of the world until the 15th century. As I previously mentioned, the dragon tree takes 10 to 15 years before it branches. It can grow quite tall before doing so. This means that a mature plant has an umbrella-like habit. It takes about 10 years for a tree to reach 1.2 metres or 4 foot in height. The Guanches, the original inhabitants of the Canary Islands, worshipped a specimen of dragon tree in Tenerife and they hollowed out its trunk into a small sanctuary. That tree was estimated to be 6,000 years old. Sadly, it was destroyed by a storm in 1868. There are many ancient legends that parents have passed down to their children about individual dragon trees on the islands. For example, there are two twin dragon trees on La Palma Island in the Canaries. They're intertwined and they're said to represent twin brothers who both fell in love with the same woman and fought to the death. The woman planted the twin trees to remember them. These trees are estimated at about 200 to 250 years old. It is said that the blood of the brothers flows in the trees, which has helped keep them alive for a very long time, harking back to the dragon blood myths surrounding this tree. Finally, before we leave this park, I'd like to mention that it has a small volcanic cave where an ancient Guancha mummy was found and you can still visit it. But what really caught my eye was this fabulous, fabulous meandering alocasia on a dry riverbed. I do hope you enjoyed this video all about the dragon tree and the thousand year old dragon tree on Tenerife Island. If so, give it a thumbs up and check back for lots more planty stuff soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.